This is something I bought from eBay just to check out. Um, it's a mains voltage LED tape. And it comes with this power supply then. It's very similar to the LED tube light that's used in Christmas lights, but it's a sort of flat tape version. Um, and instead of the LEDs being punched in loose and wired, it's all just on the same sort of typical flexible printed circuit board material, but kind of sat into this plastic moulding. The moulding itself has two bus bar wires running along it, and at every metre, um, this is connected to either end of a section. And I'll show you a bit more about that later after I've shown you it a bit. Oh, it's worth noting, this, I'm guessing, contains just a bridge rectifier. Um, it's typically the Christmas lighting stuff. Um, I, I do a lot of municipal Christmas lighting stuff and it's all mains voltage, but the rectifier is usually just a discrete bunch of diodes built into the end connector. In this case, they've got it built into this little box, and it's just a, a straight transparent end connector, which is good in a way. I'm just going to plug this in and show you it. So this is the warm white stuff. Uh, let's see what sort of flicker it's got. Has it got a yeah, modest, modest amount of flicker? It's not super bad. It's looking worse on camera than it is in real life. But there is a slight flicker there, because it's not smooth, I'm guessing. Um, and uh, to go into more detail on this, I'll unplug it. Inside, uh, there are sections one metre long. And every metre... Where is it? There's a big gap. A really obvious gap. They could have got it a wee bit closer because it's just like there's a light out every metre, but it is actually a transparent gap there. And at that point, a wire comes off one bus bar, goes onto one end, and comes off the other bus bar and goes onto the other end. Now, it's obvious that the, the, these strips contain uh, 60 LEDs along their length, and also along the length are um, 22 resistors. And the resistors are 330 ohm resistors. And it's obvious that this strip is designed for dual voltage use because um, right in the middle of it, there are two pads joined by a sort of solder blob. And I presume you can cut it at that point. And in the case of a 110 or 120 volt uh, tube light, uh, strip light, all they'll do is bridge it across in sections, and, and instead of every metre there being a, a point like that, um, it'll be every half metre there'll be a section that uh, gets joined across onto the bus bars. So, this is sealed. I think it's sealed. It doesn't... Actually, it looks like it looks like one of these systems that's been moulded on solid, but um, it doesn't feel moulded solid, and that looks... I think it's glued shut. Is it? Oh, I see it opening. No, it's not glued shut. Ooh, let's take a look inside. Okay, quite a beefy bridge rectifier. And a wee fuse. Isn't that sweet? They've put a wee fuse in it. The wee fuse is a great thing, actually, because... Um, I uh, have used a lot of LED tube light in Christmas lights and when inevitably water gets in somewhere because it seems to even just penetrate through plastic cracks, tiny holes or whatever, water inevitably gets into the LED tube light and at that point you see a bit of corrosion set in then it flashes over inside and the first thing it feels is the bridge rectifier. It just goes dead short circuit and in the case of the old Tungsten tube light it used to just you know, it used to just blow itself clear inside because um, if you had a main supply to it. So if you had tons of municipal Christmas lights, it, it usually didn't give problems. It just made a pop and maybe uh, one section of lighting went out. In the case of um, <coughs> the LED stuff, the rectifier, it really does a dead short and it takes a lot of the Christmas lights out and that, it takes that whole circuit out. And that's where that refuse is, is a bit of a godsend, actually. It's fantastic they've actually put a refuse in that. Um, I noticed anti-tracking slots in there as well, so this is obviously geared slightly towards outdoor use. I say that, but um, that's not sealed, so that's not going to be for outdoor use, because water will get in and it will flash over. Hmm. But anyway, it's interesting because uh, unlike the tube light, where it's sort of 
all directional, slightly brighter from some directions than others. But this stuff is distinctly just pointing in one direction. Um, I'll just put this back in here. Oh, that's a wee bit tacky, but not to worry. It's, mm, there you go. And I'll just plug it back in again. But the light, uh, in this case, just comes from one direction. If you turn it over, it's going to be quite dark. Um, the tracks, there's two tracks running down on the plastic tape. Um, and they seem to be broken on a regular basis where it's just basically running a series circuit, zigzagging its way down the full run. But yeah, it's, it's very simple, but you know what? It's fairly effective. I have to say, I did a wee test this, plugged it into a power meter, and it was showing just over 5 watts a meter, and it's running at about 66 milliamps for the 3 meter sections. That's roughly 22 millimeters per section. So it is pushing these LEDs modestly hard for their size. But, um, yeah, I don't know how long this is going to last, but it's it's fairly neat. Uh, you can buy this by the meter on eBay, pre-terminated. Oh, look at the wee squishy end cap. Uh, stuck on with what looks like hot melt glue. Except they haven't squirted the glue in and then pushed it into the hot melt. Oh, blimey, look, it's just pulling out. <gasps> ooh, live ends. Ooh, ooh, scary. Um, yeah, they could have actually put the... Normally in Christmas lighting... Uh, municipal type Christmas lighting, the LED tube light has, you get the end caps and you put some sort of glue into them, a sort of plastic glue, and then you push the end in and it squishes round and it seals. But they've just sealed round it with hot melt glue here and that's not so great. Um, yeah, not, not so jolly, but that's, uh, that's okay, it's, it's interesting to see. Oh, look at the flicker, yeah, see, that's the... That's the downside, it does have flicker and will that will get caught on camera. Hmm, not to worry. Such is the peril of running things off uh, fully rectified but unsmoothed uh, mains voltage. <laughs>